What is up guys, welcome back to another TBC Classic gold farming slash gold making video. Today we are looking at a way to make some semi-passive gold every single month by doing a kind of daily quest, but it's on a monthly rotation. So instead of being a daily or a weekly quest, this is a quest you can do once every single month and you can get some rewards. So you can do this once every single month on every single character, but there are some requirements. So let's go through them. Basically, the quest itself is located right here at the consortium area in Nagrand, all the way at Ares Landing. Now, the quest itself is located like right from this guy right here called Gesse, and the quest is called Membership Benefits. This is a quest you can do once every single month. If you haven't done it yet this month, there is one thing I would say so far, basically. The quest rewards are based on reputation gains, I'll get back to that very soon, but if you haven't done it yet and you want to take full advantage, farm up the most, common, the most reputation you can before the next month, then hand it in when you have the most amount of reputation possible. So I'm just going to hand this in now for the video so we can check it out, and then I'll go and grind some. So completing the quest right there, you can see it turns in, you get an, a bag of items, right here called Unmarked Bag of Gems. You open this one up, you get three gems. So I got three green gems, you can get blues as well. It kind of depends on RNG, as well as your actual reputation with the faction. Okay, so here we are over on Wowhead, so you can see the rewards from different uh, reputation stages. So if you are friendly, you will get the gem stuffed envelope. And you can see the rewards over here, you can get some green gems, one to three of them, as well as a low chance of getting a blue gem. Notice these per these percentages, by the way. It's like 40% for this one, 38% of this one. So these are the ones you can get like 4% chance of a living ruby, which sells for about 150 gold on my realm. And then if you get yourself to honor, you can get the one that I just got, which is called the Unmarked Bag of Gems. Now, from friendly to honor, it barely changes at all. You can see some better drop rates on certain gems, like you can now get more than just a living ruby. You also have 3% for Talisite, 3% for Noble Topaz, and once you get yourself to revered and exalted, you will get even better rewards. So over here, you can now see that you can get 1-2 to two Blood Garnet with a 44% drop chance, and when you scroll down to blues, you now have 19% chance of getting a Knight's Eye, as well as 14% for Talisite, 8% for Dawnstone, and 6% for Living Ruby. So before this, the highest percentage we had was 4% for a, blue, for a blue gem from this one, and now we go all the way up to 19%. And then if you somehow get yourself all the way to Exalted as well, you now suddenly have 80% chance of getting a Living Ruby. So by getting yourself to Exalted Reputation, you pretty much have a almost guaranteed 150 gold coming in every single month just by doing a very easy quest. All you have to do is go to, I'll show you in a second, but all you have to do is go, hand it in, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to kill anything, bring anything, it's just a membership benefit which is exa exactly the name of the quest, so you literally just go and grab your gems every single month, and the rewards you get, get better and better, the more reputation you have. So once again, to grab your quest and to grab your gems, go to this guy right here, all the way at Ares Landing in the ground, all the way over there. You simply talk to him, hand in the quest, grab your gems, and that's all you have to do. Now when it comes to getting your reputation with the consortium, there's a couple different things you can do, like, for example, you can do the quest that these guys offer you right here, which I'm probably just going to do right now, to be honest, to get my reputation up. And the way I've gotten a reputation on this character is to do mana tombs, or can I crypt, and basically those dungeons. So by doing these dungeons right here, like mana tombs and or can I crypt, you can farm, dun you can farm reputation inside dungeons, and they will give you reputation all the way up to honored. From there you can do dungeon quests, you can do a couple of quests around this area as well. All the way down here, some of these guys will give you consortium reputation, as well as all of the quests over here will also give you consortium rep. 
and if you go all the way up to nether storm right here you will have some guys in area 52 giving you consortium rep as well a lot of people in the storm spire will also give you consortium rep these guys will also give you consortium rep and all the ones around mana forge ultras all of these quests also gives you a consortium rep so if you haven't started on your reputation just yet I would definitely recommend doing some runs of mana tombs and then maybe some runs of Orkin I equipped as well doing the dungeon quest inside there. Wait until you hand in those quests, basically just grind dungeons until you get to honored, then hand in the dungeon quests and then do all of the quests around the area as well and then go to nether storm pretty much every single quest inside the zone will it give you consortium rep at least most of them will so nether storm is a fantastic area to get reputation for the consortium and from here you can basically level up alts get consortium rep and to be honest you can start farming this at level 64 so at level 64 you can basically do mana tombs maybe 63 as well do mana tombs get to honored hand in this quest right here and get your gems sell those on the auction house and get some passive gold the actual gold you will get will just scale over time so the more level 70s you have with exalted reputation the more gold you will make and once you have put in the effort it is basically just passive gold over time throughout the entirety of tbc and these gems will always be in demand so if you're asking me i would definitely go and do this right now and start working on your reputation especially if you plan on playing tbc for a while now if you are a jewel crafter yourself looking to just make some gems and craft them yourself this is definitely a reputation you want to have anyway because that is quartermaster to at different reputation stages you will get a ton of designs for jewel crafting so as a jewel crafter this is definitely a reputation you want to farm for example you can buy this one right here which doesn't even require anything other than honored i believe so you can see right here all of the things that i can currently buy there's tons of designs for jewel crafting this one you can get super fast it's a very good attack power gem as well a meta gem and once you get yourself all the way over here to exalted you can buy this one which is the best in slot meta gem for ag agility users that will be in high demand when this one becomes more available to more players and as people get their headpieces with meta gem sockets so definitely go and grind this reputation anyway as a jewel crafter you will make lots of passive gold from the quest it is definitely worth doing and especially if you're like me, you love leveling characters, it is definitely just like a bonus for me. So the more level 70s I have, the more passive gold I will make. And the more reputation I have as well, the more passive gold I will make throughout the entirety of the expansion. This is a fantastic way to just make some gold without doing too much effort. And to be honest, certain classes will want this reputation anyway, just to buy these couple of things. You have some gear pieces as well that you can buy both at Reverd and exalted so for example you have this one-handed dagger that is really good for rogues and even hunters as well you have this one right here which can be useful for some cloth classes you have a neck piece with both strength and agility and you also have different items you can buy at revert that can be pre abyss for some classes and for example this one as well at honored you can buy a sword that will help you while leveling if you just want to buy this one level 63 one-handed sword 24 attack power lots of bonuses just for having the reputation so make sure you go and check it out if you have the reputation hand in the quest do it before the next month one more thing to note is that the quest resets on the first every single month so make sure you hand it in before the next month begins and that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like down below leave a comment as well subscribe for more classic tbc content thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again very soon